Hello guys, today this is Thunder Ashore, and I'm going to be showing you how to make an isopod culture for your terrariums and vivariums. Let's get started now. Okay, now the first step is to get your container. You don't have to use one this big, but I'm going to because of the amount of terrariums that I make. I just, I need a lot of isopods ready for me to put in there. So this is what I'm gonna use now. Now, the first step in the process is to make your substrate. And so what I'm gonna use for substrate, Eco Earth here, fur bark, sphagnum moss. So I'm just going to do it by um, hand. I'm not really going to use any measurements, but I'm just going to mix it all in and uh, then I'll show you what's next. Okay, now that you've got the substrate mixed in, um, as you can see, that's maybe like an inch or maybe half an inch of substrate. Now I know that isn't much and normally I would like to add more because sometimes they like to burrow but this is all I have and I think it'll be just okay with them. I think they'll be fine with it. It's got a lot of different pieces of bark in it which they love and so now we're going to add some more and what we're going to do though is see if you have any plants that are like dying and the leaves are falling off that's perfect because these are just leaves right here. I have some magnolia and some of these that were coming off of some plants that I was growing roots on. Um, so when the leaves fall off, the isopods absolutely love. I mean, they love these leaves. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take them and you're going to spread them throughout the container. And I mean, you can hide some in the dirt. You can put some on top, but your isopods, since they're custodian, and these are, this is just what they eat. And they will break this down and they will turn it into nutrients for your soil. And that's pretty much the whole point of isopods here, terrariums and vivariums. And so we're just gonna add a lot of these leaves in. I might not use all of them though. Let me just break them up. But then these big magnolia leaves, they're really pretty. And the isopods will like to hide under them because they, you know, they give them a lot of coverage and protection. And so if you just, you know, break them up into the soil, they love them. I'm going to break all these leaves up. In They really, really love eating bark. That's, and they especially love hiding under it and just eating it and snacking on it. So this came off of a log that we were cutting and I just peeled it off for the, for this right here. You can just break it off and then put it in there. Well, you know it worked. My idea was good. So now we're going to put in these little pieces of bark everywhere. And this is a stick that was the magnolia leaves were on. They'll also eat up your sticks, so just put them in there. And they'll make that a snack. So now that you've got your culture made, you've got all the stuff in it, the bark and everything, now you're going to add your isopods now. Some people probably don't know what isopods are, but I'm sure if you see them, you'll recognize them. They're all over, everywhere in the U.S. has them. They are, some people call them roly-polies or wood louse or pill bugs, but that's basically what they look like right there. Well, they're really fast too. But they go, they're everywhere, and you just look under woods, 
under wood and rocks. And once you find some, just uh, dump them in there. That one right here. Grab, grab him. Put him down there. See, here's the biggest one I have right here. He's really big. Might not look big, but he's just the biggest one that I have here. Here's one right there. And that's all you do. You just put them in there. Put bark and uh, leaves in there and they'll eat them. They will, like I said, they will actually live under your stuff right here. They're everywhere in here. But yeah, there they are. There's lots of pods, guys.